I was always wondering how come DJ Software has been capable of synchronizing two tracks together for many many years without any problems, while Ableton Live wasn't as good in this department even though it had this sophisticated warping algorithm. Well, with Live 11.3 this has changed. The new and improved auto warping is one of the highlight features in this update. And it's now much more capable of automatically synchronizing tracks even with tempo variations to your project. And in this video I'm gonna show you how it compares to the previous auto warping algorithm. Before I always used to advise people to turn off auto warping for long samples and set it up themselves. But here's what the release notes of Life 11.3 say. Life now uses a new auto warp algorithm. Both downbeat and tempo variations are more accurately analyzed, making it possible to work with longer samples and entire songs without the need for manual warping. In most cases. Note in most cases. To run the new auto warp algorithm on clips within an existing live set, use any of the warp from here commands found in the sample editor's context menu from any location in a clip. So let's put this claim to the test. I have imported some really old songs from the 60s with auto warping turned on. And these old songs are definitely harder to synchronize automatically due to their varying tempo. So if it can auto warp this successfully, we can be sure that modern beats made on a sequencer wouldn't be a problem at all. First, I imported them on my laptop where my copy of life was still on 11.2, so it was using the old auto warp algorithm. So I just dragged and dropped the tracks onto the project, didn't do anything to them, only relying on the auto warping and I just put a drum loop at bar 33 just to see how it synchronizes to it. Let's hear it. Pretty bad. Let's see what happens to the same track with Life 11.3 on my main studio computer. And also you can see how Life has created multiple warp markers to adjust the sample for the tempo variations when you click on each warp marker you can see that each region has a different BPM. You can see this down here. It has done a really good job. And another track on 11.2. Not good. And here's the same track on 11.3. So this would also make chopping samples incredibly easy since, for example, this region is perfectly synchronized to the project. You can just select it, click on an empty MIDI track, drag and drop it onto the MIDI track. And the warping settings are preserved in the simpler device. So you just go slice, slice by beat, and it's sliced into equal divisions. And that's it. The sample is really well sliced in this way and with a minimal amount of effort. Let's try to play some patterns with it. So this is really great for sample-based producers or people who are into remixing. I even suspect that some sample-based producers would consider this a bit too easy, 
but hey. So wow, pretty good job Ableton, thank you for this update, we really appreciate it. Now I did try some hip hop acapellas and it didn't work so well with them, but I guess it would depend on what kind of acapella you're working with. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, I think this is pretty cool, this will definitely speed up your workflow and I also think that they made this with the new push 3 in mind, because Having this feature inside the push gives it a bit of an edge over some competing devices. But of course, it's still great to have even if you are not using the push. So give the video a like if it was useful. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Check out my sample packs and my Ableton Live packs from the link down in the description of the video. A great way to support the channel and get some cool sounds. And thank you so much for watching everyone. Hope to see you in the next video.